What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about NEO baby and it's an important time to talk about NEO. This stock is hovering around some key levels and not surprisingly at this point, it's actually around the same exact price that I predicted in my financial model. Take a look at this. Now we can obviously play around with these numbers just a little bit. So let's say the bull case is less likely to happen. We put 25 there, but now we put 55 more for the base case. Well, now it's $43.95. So basically, I think the stock is worth between $40 and $45 per share in the near future, or actually that's what I value the stock at right now. I hope you guys didn't get bored there. That is my price target on the screen right there. I'm gonna bold it. That is my price target for NEO right now. What you guys just saw is the financial model that I made and I predicted that the stock would be about $43.95 and we're a nickel off of that price right now. The stock has pulled back recently. I think what happens over the next few weeks is going to be very important for investors as we close out the year of gains. So if you have some NEO or you're interested in NEO, I'm going to lay out the facts on where I think this stock is going and make sure that our YouTube family gets stupid rich. And if you're new here, my name's Henry. I worked on Wall Street at Goldman Sachs and a couple of hedge funds. And now I make YouTube videos and teach people options trading. All I ask is you smash the like button and subscribe with the notification bell on. That way, when I make new updates, you guys get notified right away. And it also helps out the channel. I also have a couple links in the description. One being for Webull. You sign up, you get four free stocks. When you deposit 100 bucks, it's free money. So check it out. All right, let's discuss NEO and what I see going forward and what this stock is promising in terms of investment returns, which is really the big question we have here. We got some rumors that NEO would get delisted in the whole China debacle, but also we have some stellar vehicle deliveries last month. So it's no surprise we have a lot of good and some bad news that is keeping investors really mixed on the stock right now. So what is it? Is this stock gonna make us stupid rich or are the massive gains over at this point? Well, I'm usually optimistic and go with the good news first, but I want to hone in on the delisting news because this event could be a very big deal. You know, we got excited investors because they all want a piece of the fast growing EV market, especially in China. And it's a rare event that the House of Representatives voted unanimously pretty much last week on December 2nd, and they passed the Holding Foreign Companies Accountable Act. That is a mouthful. And basically that is targeting the Chinese listed companies that I'm about to get into. With the move, the House joined the Senate, which had similarly passed the bill unanimously back in May actually, and President Trump is expected to sign the bill into law. And I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of a big deal because it's gonna affect a lot of Chinese listed companies, especially Neo stock. And this was a $55 stock and we're now down 20% from the highs. And as I mentioned, this not only affects NEO stock, which is what I'm talking about in this video, but hundreds of Chinese companies whose shares are currently listed on various US stock exchanges. The law requires additional disclosure from Chinese companies with the intent of ensuring that those companies are complying with US accounting rules in overseeing all of their operations. Now, from one perspective, guys, this isn't all bad news. We know that Chinese companies can maneuver or cook up the numbers. So extra regulation when it comes to foreign stocks in China could have some benefits. It could actually protect a lot of investors putting a lot of their money into a NEO stock, but the drawdowns are huge. As investors, we would have to do tricky things like trade over the counter shares, and that just doesn't make you feel right. It's just so much extra work, and you can't really look at your stock in the app such as Robinhood. It's not gonna be there anymore, and that just complicates everything so much. And I actually want to discuss multiple pieces of good news to put in perspective. US investors would have time to decide whether to sell before the delisting took effect or to hold on to their stock. This wouldn't happen like that. They'd still have ownership interest in NEO, but they wouldn't easily be able to sell their shares or buy more shares without a US listing. So the money wouldn't just burn or disappear. Additionally, a NEO spokeswoman responded to an emailed statement from Barron saying that Neo was aware of the situation. I'm not surprised, they should be aware. They've probably been aware for many months and they have actually become compliant many months ago, which I do believe because they were warned about this back in May. Now guys, let me give you the truth behind it. Most likely this is all still up in the air. Neo is working on these matters with the necessary accounting firms and have been aware of this for a while, but things are probably not all set in place just yet. I think due to the rise in their stock, the management is tasting a lot of the money 
and they're making a killing if they have restricted stock units, which is basically how you reward executives. And I don't think that they want the stock to be delisted or lose part of their compensation. It also seems silly for America to delist NEO because American investors are making money on the stock and Chinese stocks in general make a lot of sense because we want to diversify our holdings. And a lot of Americans are investing in Chinese assets, whether it's Alibaba, NEO, or other Chinese companies. It's just too much of a good deal for American investors because it just makes sense diversifying your money. And we have so much business between America and China. How would delisting a bunch of Chinese companies benefit America? What would they actually get monetarily? Because we live in a capitalistic society. So how would that make a lot of sense for either America or China? People and governments, especially capitalistic societies, don't do things for free or want to put themselves in bad financial situations. That makes no sense. I just feel like the profit is there for Chinese companies to stay listed. And it also makes sense for America as a whole. But you know, another good thing is even if worst comes to worst, governments are pretty slow. You guys know they're pretty slow. So this isn't going to happen tomorrow. We have a ton of time to see what would happen and see this whole story actually play out. And in the meantime, if Neo stock pulls back more, you have a great opportunity. And if it goes up and you already have Neo stock, then you're benefiting by being a shareholder. I personally don't see any weakness in their core business, what they're selling and what they're doing with their products. I see no issues at all. And is there more risk on the table? Absolutely, guys. I'm not going to BS you, but look at the road ahead. Ultimately, NEO is a dominant player in China and feeding consumers demands for EVs and luxuries. And we all know that the Chinese market and the Chinese consumer loves luxuries, especially luxury vehicles. For example, the new EC6 has gotten a good atmosphere as well, and it has made a lot of sales actually, and has been ramping up quite significantly. Actually, deliveries have risen steadily with about 16 and part of September, which is nothing, but it actually climbed to 883 in October. And November's EC6 deliveries were up between 70% and 75% from October levels and outpaced numbers for a larger ES8 SUV model. So the new products are selling like hotcakes and they're actually selling almost as fast as Andrew left selling his primary residence because he no longer has a job being a financial analyst. The proof of concept is there. The expansion for NEO is there. And let's face it, the Tesla effect is also there. This stock reminds me of Tesla in the younger days and that's where a lot of investor enthusiasm is coming from. NEO has captured the imagination of many investors in the auto industry and early investors have been rewarded like madmen. I mean, they've made an absolute killing. I was mentioning the stock back when it was $11 per share, and that is a four times return in the past few months. But going forward, if things go well, I would expect it to retouch its peak pricing of about $55 per share. Of course, it depends on investor enthusiasm and news. See, I've had a good track record with NEO, but it's hard to predict exactly what's gonna happen with a stock in the short term. And I can expect this stock to have a lot of mixed trading signals in the following week because there's a lot of uncertainty in the stock currently and volatility is quite high. It's down 20% though in a short period of time. I mean, I would find it hard to believe that there's another pullback right around the corner of another 20%. I think that would be a little bit too dramatic for the stock. And I think a lot of the bad news has already settled in. I say NEO could see consolidation in the next week. And if delisting talks get pushed back or take a rear view mirror, that this stock's volatility will drop and enthusiasm will again set back into the stock and potentially spark a new flame. So my prediction is we see a lot of sideways action, but at year end, I can see the stock going to 47 to $50 per share. If all goes well, I can see the stock having a gap higher in the start of 2021 to the mid 50s per share if all goes well. I think the best thing that someone can do is hold their shares. I mean, just take a look at your phone, admire your gains on NEO, and then uninstall Robinhood and put your phone away because you want to allow stocks as a long-term investor to work for you. And if you want to make your stocks work harder for you, then go ahead and sell some call options and collect that juicy premium income. You can find more information by watching my free videos on options trading right here on my option playlist, or you can check out the description below. I love you guys. Thanks for making it this far. Be aggressive in learning but be safe in investing. Rasen fist bump. No one ever sees me. See